So let's try a metric example. Let's say I use an electric lift to raise me to the top of this building here. That's about, uh, that's about 20 meters. All right, I've got a mass of, uh, of 87 kilograms. Let's, let's just say it's 100 kilograms because I've got my textbooks in my back or something. So I've got 100 kilograms of mass. That's not weight, right? That's not a force, it's mass. 100 kilograms of mass, I'm gonna raise it 20 meters. Let's say, let's say the crane uses 600,000 joules of energy to get me up there. So the input work is 600,000 joules. So let's see what that looks like. Um, I've got a, got a crane here. And it's gonna, there's me. Can, can you tell? Because I, I, I really work on these. There, that's very accurate. And it's raised me to the top of this building. And it's raised me a height of 20 meters. Now I said my input work, my input work W subscript in is going to be 600,000 joules. I've got to make sure I do a nice five step. So I've got a variable, a value, and the units. My mass is about 100 kilograms. I'm going to raise myself 20 meters. I said 20 meters here, but I didn't connect it to a variable. I wouldn't count that. That's listing my knowns and unknowns. Well, maybe I should call that the height. Or, since I can't erase it, maybe I should just call it the distance I'm raising it. That's 20 meters. And my first question is, what's the output work? How much energy have I gained by raising myself up that 20 meters? Well, my output work is force times distance. But my force is my weight. And my weight is the product of my mass and the acceleration of gravity. So my output work is my mass times the acceleration of gravity, that's the force, and the distance is that height of 20 meters, that's MGD. Now I plug in the numbers. I've got uh, 100 kilograms of mass. Nine point eight meters per second squared is the acceleration of gravity at sea level. And I raise it a height, raise me a height of twenty meters. So hundred kilograms is my mass, gravity, nine point eight meters per second squared, twenty meters. Now that's going to give me, let's see, 196, 18,600, I think. Let's see. 20 times 9.8, that'll be 196, 1960, 19,000. That'll give me 19,600. And I have kilograms times meters per second squared times meters. Now, that's mass and that's acceleration. Kilogram meter per second squared. That's a newton. And meters, multiply it by meters, I got a newton meter. That's the same as 19,600 joules. So the next question is, what's the efficiency? Not very good. Let's try it out. B. What's the efficiency? Did I mention this efficiency is called eta? So if, you, uh, if you're typing in a font, you press an H and you click it to symbol font, you'll get this. So the efficiency 
is equal to the output work divided by the input work times 100%. That's equal to some very red knees. Let's see, 19,600. Hey, Adam, would you mind giving me another piece of yeah, chalk? Of I'd appreciate it. Jules. Thanks, man. Yeah. Divided by our input work, which way up there was 600,000 joules. 600,000. Oh, peach, way to go. 600,000 joules times 100%. I'm going to have to use my calculator for this, but I always carry one because they're great to have around when you go to parties. I've got uh, 19,600. A measly 3.27%. Don't trust me. Try this out. See if you can solve it on your own. 3.27%. That's how you solve these things in metric. Now remember, I put work in, I, the object gained energy. When I was up there, if I go up to the top of that, that building, I'm going to have more energy. If I fall off, I'll get that energy back. If I take this calculator, I can put energy into it by applying a force over a certain distance. Because work is force times distance. But watch what happens when I apply the force. It stops. The deal is, I put energy into it, but friction took the energy out. So in this case, I did work on the object, but there was no net work because the work was taken out. The object doesn't have any more or any less energy than it did before. If I raise this piece of chalk, I add energy to it. It's got more energy now than it did before. If I drop it, now it's got less. I've done work on it, network. All right? Anything else? So network is whether you put energy into the object or taken energy out of it.